German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has wrapped up a three-day visit to China, where he met at length with Chinese President Xi Jinping on Tuesday. Russia's war on Ukraine was high on the agenda, but so too were Germany and the EU's trade ties with China. It was the culmination of a high-stakes trip to China. Chancellor Scholz held unusually long discussions in Beijing with Chinese President Xi Jinping. A three-hour meeting that included a private tea ceremony and a meal. One of the Chancellor's goals, to convince China to put pressure on Russia's Vladimir Putin. As a permanent member of the UN Security Council, China has a heightened responsibility for peace in the world. And China's word has weight in Russia. That's why I asked President Xi to exert its influence on Russia, so Putin finally stops his insane military campaign, withdraws his troops and ends this horrible war. What he has, for now, is Xi's promise to work on further efforts to end the conflict, including a possible peace conference and a commitment to strong Chinese-German relations. Our two countries should view and develop bilateral relations from a long-term and strategic perspective and work together to inject more stability and certainty into the world. Another challenge for Scholz, striking a balance between Germany's significant economic interests in China and the growing EU concerns over what are perceived as unfair Chinese subsidies on green exports such as electric cars. It's very clear we need to talk about the issue of overproduction. We need to talk about competition on subsidies. It's a key issue, also because the issue of subsidies raises questions all over the world. Many countries do the same, especially when it comes to renewable energies and advanced electromobility technologies. So it's important that we establish processes that ensure that everyone doesn't simply go ahead on their own. The jury appears to be out so far on the success of this trip. Now Germany's partners in the EU and the US will be watching closely to see what effect, if any, this visit will have on trade relations or on Russia's war in Ukraine. And just back from China, where she was traveling with the German Chancellor, we have DW's chief political editor, Michaela Kufner. Uh, welcome back, Michaela, to our studio in Berlin. I want to pick up on a question that was raised at the end of that report there, um, whether Schultz's visit will, in fact, have any effect on Russia's war on Ukraine. Well, let's put it this way. Uh, this way um, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked um, the German Chancellor for his efforts there. He did convey the message to the Chinese that their word carries weight in Russia. And he went to China with one big ask, which is for China to stop sending parts to Russia, so-called dual-use goods that also can be used to build weapons, uh, chips used in drones. And that's something Germany, Europe is very much concerned about. Um, whether that will really change anything is a different question. The next big test will be whether China um, actually takes part in a planned peace conference uh, this summer in Switzerland. Now, it's um, by no means clear that China will get involved. China um, really previously has also said it wants the Russians to be sitting at the table as well. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Um, but at the very least, what they discussed is um, the potential wording of potential outcomes of this very conference. So it's an effort to bring the Chinese on board. And it always takes a bit longer to see whether something actually has changed, whether he managed to actually make the point that it's also in China's interests uh, for that war to end. China says it wants that war to end, but those are the words. The big question now is, will we see some action on that? At the very least, he did hear um, well, he didn't hear, but there was a statement from President Xi afterwards, which once again condemned the use of nuclear weapons, also pushing back on uh, threats of any kind of nuclear use. And that is a clear message to, Vlad uh, to uh, Vladimir Putin at this moment in time. So I suppose whether words translate into actions, we'll see in the weeks ahead. Um, this war, the war in Ukraine, obviously very much high on the agenda. Uh, but what about the conflict in the Middle East? Did we hear from Xi and Schultz on this issue? We did, and we did um, see them make a very 
different focus, though. Um, there were clear words from the German Chancellor standing next to President Xi, um, also referring to Iran, and President Xi avoided that altogether, focusing more, well, again, in a statement afterwards um, on pushing for an implementation of the UN Security Council resolution calling for an end to the fighting in Gaza. You didn't hear the Chinese mention Iran. Instead, um, we did hear Xi asking for countries uh, with influence, and that must be meaning the G7, um, who also had a conference on this while we were in China, um, to basically uh, put some pressure, use their influence for Israel not to let this get out of hand and become a wider conflict. So we see China itself interpreting its responsibility in the region as kind of let the big powers that have influence sorted. But part of the truth as well is that China does have some sway, particularly amongst Arab countries, and we've seen that in the past. And I think it's also important to mention here that this was the first meeting that we saw between Schultz and Xi uh, since Germany introduced its new strategy to, to de-risk from China last year. Do you think that that has changed relations between the two? It has because China is seeing de-risking, which means becoming more independent from China, as something of a threat. It also tails in with the European strategy and a much more aggressive American strategy, which all contain uh, the word de-risking. Um, the interpretation really matters. And here, Olaf Scholz uh, took, uh, was it, took great lengths to explain to the Chinese that the German interpretation means that de-risking means being less dependent, yes, but at the same time increasing trade. And he can back that up at this moment in time uh, with German companies having invested in the past year some 11.9 billion euros. That's a new record high. So trade is not decreasing. At the same time, both sides are, are very wary of each other. The Chinese want more access to European markets, uh, particularly their e-cars. And there's currently still um, an investigation at the European level whether the subsidies are so high that Europe could see some taxes slapped onto that. And that could mean uh, shifting towards a trade confrontation. Nobody wants that. Both sides clearly depend on each other. Well, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed there. That is DW's chief political editor, Michaela Kufner.